Hello viewers, this is Just Speak Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and now the news in details. Fear as Earth's men flee southeast, invade Benue community. Fulani Earth's men, hitherto grazing in the southeastern part of Nigeria, have reportedly fled the zone and are now settling in some communities in Ogbadibo. Okoku, Ado, and other local government areas of Benue State. The invasion may not be unconnected to the current unrest in the southeast, but by the activities of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, which was established by the indigenous people of Biafra Hypo to stop the activities of Edmen in the region. The recent resolve by the southern governors who banned open grazing in the region may have also triggered the sudden relocations to neighboring communities. Daily Post reports that the communities in the half mentioned local government areas and neighboring villages to some part of Enugu and Emboyin State. Ogbadibo and parts of Okoku are bordered by Udenu local government of Enugu State, while part of Ado. Particularly, the Hajila community is bordered by Ebele village, Ingo in Waku local government area of Mboin State. Our correspondents gather that the headers are currently settling in some parts of the community, triggering tension in the areas. An opinion leader and head of the community, Onowukpa in Ogadibo, Chief Akogu. Agada told Daily Post correspondent that some parts of the community have been occupied by the headsmen. They are everywhere in Owuka, but their major base in Hangpa, they have clashed with our farmers several times due to the destructions of crops by their cattle. And we will be glad if the government can come to our head to chase them out of our land before they resort to attacking and killing us here, Chief Akugu noted. A member of the recently disbanded vigilante group, Mr. Akuchi Adams, who spoke with a correspondent with Ichama in Okugwa local government, narrated a similar incident. According to him, there is no part of the community that the headsmen are not using for grazing. We have clashed with them several times, trying to send them away from our land, but they always resist. And similarly, a farmer, Mr. James Adoja, who spoke with our correspondent from Urukamu in Ogbadibo, lamented how this how his cassava plantation was destroyed by the herders who grazed on his farm. Adoja revealed that the herders stormed the community recently with their cartoons family and other properties to settle in some of the villages. We are helpless in this place. Farming is the only business we use to survive and, and the full men have come to destroy our only source of hope. When we see them on our land and we complain they threaten to kill us and due to news we have been getting from, our, from far places we have no courage to confront them, he stated. Daily Post reports that the development is coming despite the efforts of the state government to enforce the open grazing prohibition law across the 23 local government areas of the state. He recalled that the state governor, Samuel Holtom, in 2017, signed the anti open grazing bill into law as a measure to end this incessant crisis between farmers and headsmen. However, the herders who were angered by the law have continued to unleash terror on residents of communities in relatively whole part of the state. And recently there was a surge in the deadly attack as many residents have been butchered, while over 1 million orders were displaced across th the three senatorial districts in the state. Daily Post record that harmed men suspected to be Fulani militias on Thursday night killed the deceased resident of Shina 
Mbagana community in Castina, Hala Luka government area of the state. The harmed men invaded the communities and slaughtered skulls at midnight when residents were fast asleep. 36 bodies were recovered, while an unspecified number of persons sustained various degree of injuries. And recently, gunmen suspected to be headsmen also attacked the Tise and Amber community near in Goa Western local government area of the state, killing 11 persons as President the Sad State. The community and increased the number of internally displaced persons camped across the state. The Goa West local government chairman, Mrs. Grace, who confirmed the incident to Daily Post, lamented how his people were sacked from their ancestral homes by their militaries, by the militaries. And similarly, a few weeks ago, about seven persons were confirmed dead with many others injured after harmed Fulani headsmen attacked Abagena community housing internally displaced persons camp in Marco, the local government area of the state. Subsequently, the youth who were angered by the killings stormed the Marco de Lafia road with the lifeless bodies of the deceased to protect insistent attack on their community. Rehearsing the state governor, Samuel Holtom, in a statement, described the attack on the IDP's camp as inhuman, barbaric, and unacceptable. The governor called on the president, Muhammad Buhari, to live up to his responsibility of protecting lives of Nigerians. Same week, more than 17 persons were confirmed dead. Why many others injured after militias headsmen attacked Tisi Ayeli village? Tisi, Burigio, and Hudam in Guma local government area of the state. A record that on March 28, 2021, the governor narrowly escaped dead when military headsmen launched an attack on his convoy while returning from his farm at Tiyomu along Marco de Goko Road. Efforts by Daily Post corresponded to speak with Stava Akase, the chief press secretary to the governor, on the recent influx of the Fulani headers in some parts of the state, proved abortive as he was unable to take his calls and could not respond to text message forwarded to him. Similarly, when contacted the state police public relations officers, DSP Katrin Anene, was unable to speak but requested that a text message be sent to her. She did not, however, respond to the text message forwarded to her. However, Autumn had a few days ago told residents of the state to defend themselves with down guns and other weapons not prohibited by the law when attacked by gunmen. Autumn gave the directive at an inter Dominational Church Service held at the government house in Makodi, Benue Capital, on Sunday, May 23. I will no longer announce the death of those killed by Fulani Etsmen. Rise and defend yourself with weapons not prohibited by law, bows and arrows and spear and knives. Get a license for damn guns from local government chairmen and use them to defend yourself. God assured me some time back that as long as I lived within the cycle of his presence, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper, he said. Well, so viewers, what do you think about this news? What is your own take? You know, the truth has been said. The fact is that uh, uh, Nigerians need to defend themselves. And that is exactly what Governor Hotom is talking about. So what do you think? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing and we'll say God bless you to you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press, press the subscription button below. God bless you once again and have a lovely day. Bye.